Shalom, Yasharallah. Giving all praise and glory to the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's worthy to be praised for everything. Glory to his holy name. Because he's worthy to be praised for everything. Uh, as always, I'm going to start with Colossians 3 and 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all. Baha Shama Masyak Yahushai. Give you thanks to the Most High and the Father. Baha Shama Masyak Yahushai. So all that we said and do is going to be in the name of the Lord and Savior. And we give thanks to the Most High Power because He's worthy to be praised for everything. Glory be to His holy name. And uh, I hope that uh, you will be able to go into this Bible and hear the Spirit of the Most High that we ask for before we start any class. I'm going to look at uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the first chapter in the Apocrypha. And... Um, the first verse, it says, love righteousness, right? Love righteousness, right? So, what is righteousness? Psalms 119, Psalms 119, 172 defines what righteousness is. Say, love righteousness. What's righteousness? Psalms 119, 172, it says, um, my tongue shall speak of thy word. For all thy commandments are righteousness. So the commandments of the Most High are righteousness, right? And he wrote the commandments or the laws with his finger, the work of the Most High. So let's look at the wisdom of Solomon, the first chapter, look at verse 3. It's a great chapter. I think I'm going to go over the whole thing. It says, for forward thoughts separate from the Most High, you know, when you think you all that, you got all this, you got all this, this high power uh, pride and meanness about yourself. It separates you from the most high for his power and his power. And you see, and the power from the most high. We only need the power of the most high to survive anything that's coming against us. When it is tried, reprove it the unwise. You see, it's going to reprove the unwise. For into a malicious, which is someone that have anger without a cause, so wisdom, which is proper application of knowledge, shall not enter. It's not going to enter into a malicious spirit, a spirit that's malicious. So, you know, you angry, but you really don't have a cause to be angry. You know, which is the proper application of knowledge, which is wisdom, shall not enter. It's not going to enter into you, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. What is sin? First John 3 and 4. First John 3 and 4. Let's see what sin is. Because it's very important that we see this so that we can, as a nation, come out of gross darkness, gross ignorance that the world has put predominantly the people that you see in. No matter what position they're in in this world. You say, you up handle the Bible, say, talk to me. They can't talk to you from the word of the most high. They call themselves spiritual. That, this is sin. 1 John 3 and 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Those same laws that the Most High wrote in his finger, the work of the Most High. For sin is the transgression of the law. You hear that? Sin is the transgression of the law. So that's what it's saying. It's saying, for in Wisdom of Solomon, the first chapter, the fourth verse, say, For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. You see? So it's not going to dwell in the body that's subject unto sin. And you're taught that you're not under the law. So we just define what sin is, the transgression of the law. Whose laws are they? They're the Most High's laws. He wrote with his finger the work of the Most High. So you say that you ain't got to follow the Most High. If you say that, you know, you don't sin, sin is the transgression of the Most High's law. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit. You know? The Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit. It's going to flee lies and remove from thoughts that are without understanding. It will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. You know? It's going to leave. The Holy Spirit is discipline, meaning it's dealing with order. Without self doubt, it's dealing with order. You gotta be in order. Discipline is 
Straightforward. Straightforward. There ain't no going to the right, to the left. Discipline is straightforward. The Holy Spirit, what does it say? Of discipline. We just went through, you know, those work, working and, and operating in the flesh with operating in the spirit. You see, there's a difference. You see, for the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee to see and remove from thoughts. That's what you think that are without understanding. That's why Proverbs 4 and 7, what does it say? Proverbs 4 and 7, it tells you. We don't get understanding through these precepts. Proverbs 4 is going to feed from you. Now, if you don't have the discipline of the Holy Spirit, it says, Proverbs 4 and 7 says, Wisdom, which is proper application of knowledge, is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. You see? Get understanding. That's why my secretary told us. He gave us a clear indication in um, how we can get understanding of this Bible. Go to uh, Luke uh, 24 and verse 44. Luke, the 24th chapter and the 44th verse. It says, And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses. That's going all the way back to the first five books of the Bible. When you say that we're not under the law, he said, which were written in the book of the law of Moses. Written in the law of Moses. That's the first five books. Genesis all the way to Deuteronomy. And in the prophets, that's all the whole Old Testament. And in the Psalms. The Psalms is, you know, uh, Psalms that King David was... <laughs> writing concerning me concerning him so if you don't know him in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning how much Jack was shy to say what you say you believe in he said what he said did then open he their understanding with all that he didn't get understanding then open he their understanding that they might understand the scripture because they didn't understand all the things that we're able to understand now it was written for us because they didn't have revelations the book of revelation from chapter one to verse to chapter 22 they didn't have that we have it and we have the understanding of the whole is the whole volume of the book we have that so that's very important so when you come back to wisdom of solomon uh, verse five it says for the holy spirit of discipline you know that's being in order with the most high will flee to see you see we already went class we went through the holy spirit before i started class so i don't need to go through that again with you you see the holy spirit of discipline will flee to see and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in Unrighteousness is those that are sins, those that don't want to follow the laws of the Most High. Like you taught, you're not under the law. For wisdom is a loving spirit, you know? And we know 2 John 6 says, For this is love, that we keep his commandments. <laughs> you're not going to run from the law and the commandments of the Most High and will not acquit a blasphemer of his words. For the Most High is witness of his reigns, just what you're doing, whatever way you're going, and a true beholder of his heart, of your mind, and a hearer of his tongue, hear of your words. That's why it's very important. I did a lesson on the tongue, your words, you know, what you say. It's very important. For the spirit of the Most High filleth the world. And that which containeth all things have knowledge of the voice. That's why I say, my I say, say everybody gonna give an account to what you have said. Even those little idle words that you say. Everything that we say is being written in the books. Everything we think is being reported on us. Our action definitely. It says, therefore, he that speaketh unrighteousness. Things, unrighteous things, Salakia, cannot be hid. Therefore, he that speaketh of unrighteous things cannot be hid. Like I say, it's been written in the books. And they report to the Most High 
But it's, it's being written in the books against us. Therefore, he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid. Neither shall vengeance when it punishes pass by him. Then you know that vengeance of the Most High going to come upon you. You speak of unrighteous things. You speaking against the Most High. You speaking against the work of the Most High that he did. You giving him the middle finger and think that the Most High ain't going to get you. That's what he said. Therefore, he that speaketh unrighteous things, like we done under the law, or you figure that you can just pick and choose whatever you, whichever law you want to follow and you have to follow the others, cannot be here. It cannot be here because most of our eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, even the secret parts. It says, neither shall vengeance, when it, pers when it punishes, pass by him. Hear that? Vengeance, when it punishes, pass by him. Meaning it's gonna, it ain't gonna pass you by, man. That's why it's so important to come back to the moral laws, the civil laws, the dietary laws, the ceremonial laws. You know? And we've been doing it for years, so it's not something that you can't do. We've been doing it as Israelites. We've been doing it. It says, just a moment. 